Good morning. It's April. Oh, the sun's in my face. April Tuesday 24th. My voice is still uh, gone a little bit, but I'm on my way to my doctor's appointment. So hopefully after this clip, I will have an update towards my surgery um, and I'll let you guys know everything the doctor told me. So now it's Thursday, April 26th, and um, I've had the busiest day. I don't know if I told you all that my nephew actually is with me this week because my sister is out of town, and it's just been like, go, 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 go. And on the 24th, I, I just got caught up with a lot of stuff. So I am going to try and film by tonight because I have to go into work right now um all of the updates there is some new additional information that I was given but I do have officially a surgery date and I'm gonna be talking all about that tonight I am not feeling this I am not feeling these pimples anyways I am going to talk about what happened <laughs> <laughs> He's serving me some water. Thank you. I have work to do, so I can't really talk. Can you not be so serious? <sighs> I needed that before I started talking. Um, okay, so my appointment went pretty well. Got a new message. So my appointment went pretty well. Um oh. So my appointment was good and he went over some of the stuff that we had talked about the first time and I wasn't able to really get into detail but basically what he's gonna do is going to open up my calf um, and he's going to take he says that in your calf you have three arteries and he's going to transplant one of those onto my jaw he's gonna make an opening from here uh, like all the way to here and if he said that in the event that he needs more space I guess I don't know he's gonna possibly cut up to my lip he says that he's gonna try not to do that um, that he's gonna try and keep it just on my neck so that it's not as visible so it'll just be like here so even if I'm looking straight minus the double chin that's been created there via fatness and via tumor um, he is going to try his hardest to not do that he also said that um in order to keep my jaw and my teeth aligned um he's going to screw use two screws to hold a plate in place because i have no jawbone like i have this much left here and maybe this much but he's gonna have to cut some of my jawbone off um so that there's no residue of the benign tumor and um the transplant of the artery is to supply blood vessels um to have its own supply of blood vessels so that it can regenerate the cells so that my bone and my jaw bone can regrow um because of that he's gonna take a piece of my flesh or graft um a piece of my possibly of my thigh so that it can attach to the opening on my calf so that skin can regrow there as well um and because of that i'm going to be in a cast as i mentioned before that hasn't changed he still has me seven to ten days in the hospital and um i'm going to most likely be needing a nurse at home um and then after all of that he said that i will need physical therapy um in order to walk again um you know, I don't, I don't know how long the physical therapy is going to be for, but um, he, of course, as any doctor would always say, in the event that um, there may be, I don't want to say damage, but I guess that's the best word to use at this moment, that I may need to use a cane permanently, which I'm hoping that's not the case. He says usually with physical therapy, um, and he's going to hope for that and try to do his very best to have as, minim as minimal damage as possible, and hopefully my body recovers well, um, that I will be able to maybe just notice a very slight 
difference that it will be almost nearly as perfect same thing with my bite um that's why he's ordering that screw but in the event that that doesn't end up that my bite is a little awkward he says that mm, almost always uh you can do a follow-up with um orthodontist i think that's what they are right because it's not um a dentist but anyways dental work is something that dental work can't fix and he said also it'll be nearly as perfect of a bite and you just get used to it it'll just maybe change but it won't be um you know like it won't be deformed or anything like that um but at this point like i've said before in my previous video that i just i'm excited to get it out i'm excited to move on from this so it's definitely going to be quite a surgery um and i am nervous but i actually feel even more positive than i did the first time i filmed this when i came back and did the update so um i will be vlogging as much as possible i've already talked to a few of my friends who you know i've asked like hey you know i have a youtube channel would you you know vlog as much as possible as much as i am allowed to also film myself and um through the recovery and all of that so i can keep you all updated so that is the update with my appointment and uh, my surgery date is scheduled for june so i still have about a month to prep uh, I have to go through a clear, my primary care physician has to clear me through a physical and do some blood work and all of that good stuff. And I have to set up an appointment with the anesthesiologist as well. And then I will be good to go. Um, again, it's going to be an eight hour surgery. So please keep me in your prayers. Send me positive vibes. Um, follow me on my social media because I do tend to talk about that kind of more on the spot. So um, I would love to get some encouraging messages and follow you back and just, you know, share with me and be there with me and maybe also be a support for whatever you're going through because we're going through stuff together. So yeah, follow me on all of my social media. I mostly post on Instagram for this particular channel but i will try to do some more snapchat um and some more facebook thank you all so much i'm gonna end today's video here because i still have it like two years in and i still don't know how to end videos but that's okay because that's me uh so but i did i just don't want to end it here because i want to get this video up as soon as possible and i still have a couple more videos to edit that i filmed before i went to my appointment so yes again please keep me in your prayers and let's stay connected bye